Okay, now time to add some more graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this background layer and hit new layer. And I'll call this layer graphics, let's say, right? And then on the intro, I'm going to put a keyframe right here on this intro. Um, under the intro game label on this new layer, put a keyframe. Okay, and I'll go get my text tool. And I've got Arial Bold here right and I've got a color I'll just use yellow to start with and I'm gonna type Robotron okay and there it is there we go Robotron and then I'll get another one and say um, click here to begin. Okay, so now I've got two pieces of text here, right? And I'm going to do something different with each one of these, okay? So for, let's say, this click here to begin, I'm going to make these into, um, I'm going to have this one be a button, and this one will have also be glowing text. So for this one, this Robotron piece right here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say modify, select it, modify, break apart, and that breaks it up into separate letters, but it's still the Arial font in each one of these, right? So then what I'll do is I'll select all these letters individually and then do a modify break apart again. And now they're no longer text, it's just their shapes, vector shapes. And so what I can do is I can highlight that and say modify convert to symbol and make it into a movie clip. And I'll call it um, title, or I could say mc-title for movie clip-title. Click OK, and now this is a movie clip. And so I can do the same thing that I did with my background border. I can double click on this, right, and I can go in and say f6, 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 and then let's say um, insert keyframe, right? And I can just change the color of each one. So I'll select this one and make it red and then go to this one and make it white and then go to this one and make it purple and go to this one and make it back to yellow. Right? And so now it changes colors right here. And now I can go in and put a shape tween on these. In each keyframe, uh, create a shape tween on each keyframe. Let's see here. And so now, if you hit enter, it's going to change colors. Let's say like that. And control stop. Go back to scene one and hit control enter. And you can see there it is changing colors. Now, I'm getting um, something that's not going so nice there in the title, the way the, the letter's tweaking. I'm not really digging that. So um, I don't know what's causing that to happen, but I don't like that. So I might have to go in and fix that later. But you get the picture. Um, you could uh, change the font or the size and have it change colors. Um, any way you want. I'm just using a shape tween to do it. Now for this one here, I will select it and modify convert to symbol and I'm gonna make this a button. Okay, and I'll call it I'm gonna change it to BTN button or button type button and BTN dash um, start. BTN dash start. Click OK. And so then this is the start button right and I will call it that up here in the instance name I'll say BTN underscore start and hit enter so now I've got a symbol button symbol BTN start here and I can code to it so if I hit control enter now you see here I've got this graphic right I've got this right here and I've got one problem though, I need some code on these frames. So right here, 
I will put a keyframe on the script layer and I want to stop my movie here so I'm gonna say stop and then I'll say btn underscore start equals a function or dot on capital press equals a function okay and I'll say this or root dot go to and stop and then in quotation marks I'll say game on is that correct we can test it out okay so we go here Robotron click here to begin we click on the button and it takes us to where the character shows up and the character can now move around so a couple more other things here what we need to do is these graphics need to disappear after one frame so right after this frame where these graphics are these um, these two graphics the title and the button on the next frame I'm going to insert a blank keyframe so now they just exist here and so then when we go here and stop it'll be the game will actually be started so now if I hit control enter there we go click here to begin and we jump to game on now also what I'm gonna do is on this layer for the button I'm gonna change the hit state so that when you're in between the letters the button is still active so I will double click on this button now I'm in button editing mode you can tell by the up over down and hit states and I'm gonna put a hit state on it so I'll say insert keyframe and I'll just draw a rectangular box over the whole area and now this whole area will register as the button area instead of just the text back to scene one you know notice you don't see that box so now even if my cursor is in between the letters it still registers as a button and clicks and goes forward